How's it going? This is Phantasmo. Out here in this beautiful day, October 20th, 2020. And uh, I put out, I released a video today on the uh, a book release event for Van Halen Rising, how a Southern California party, rock, backyard party band saved music or metal, heavy metal, one of the two, by Greg Renoff. And, uh, you know, I really highly, highly recommend any Van Halen enthusiast, any Van Halen fan, read that book because it's more in depth and more detail on what it took for them to become just regular kids playing in their living room to internationally successful multi-platinum selling artists and um, and uh, I really love that and uh, I shared a lot of uh, experiences because you know growing up I my band played in <clears throat> backyard parties all throughout high school not Phantasma the band before that a few bands ago a few bands before that and um, so oh, that was a police officer driving, driving by but anyway I really highly suggest you you read that and then because it also goes in depth you can kind of get an idea I already knew I'm a, I'm a big time I mean Eddie Van Halen is the reason why I started playing guitar period I, I was already introduced to the other greats I was already my uncle Ralph played me you know everybody under the sun Jimi Hendrix uh, Led Zeppelin uh, Everybody. I mean, Jim Hendrix, Judd Zeppelin, 10 years after, Alvin Lee, Albert Lee, blues, all kinds of, all, tons, you know, just whatever was out there, all the 60s rock, uh, guitarists, and Jeff Beck, and Eric Clapton, Cream, all that stuff. But what made me jump off that couch and say, I want to make that sound, is when I first heard You Really Got Me. It was over when I first heard Ben Halen. And then I heard him talking about love. Oh, forget it. I love that even more. So I begged my mom for a toy guitar, and, uh, I begged my mom for a guitar. What well, toy guitar, actually? Yeah, around Christmas, I seen it in a window at a toy store, and she, for Christmas, it was there. And then I said, oh, "Well, I mean, I guess she wanted to see if I was really dedicated." And then uh, next thing you know, she came home with an acoustic guitar about a year or so later, and it was off to the races for me. But anyway, grab that book if you're interested in how they went in 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 the struggle in the day to day and how they became what they became. And I also definitely highly recommend you couple that with Ted Templeman's bio biography. There's a lot in there. You'll see. I don't know. I'm not give it away. I'm not gonna give my bias. I love Eddie Van Halen, but you'll see how much David <laughs> Lee Roth and how many uh, how much uh, you know David Lee Roth's father, Dr. Roth, also contributed to the this success, catapulting to the beginning and the beginnings of that band. I mean, honestly, it's just amazing. Um, and just you know course the phenomenal talent which is Edward Van Halen, Van Halen and his brother and Michael Anthony and they just all came to bed together just gelled and uh, just amazing phenomenal and uh, check it out check it out it's a rags to riches type deal um, I believe and it's not only that all the bands in the world think about all the instruments that are sold throughout the world and how this band was able to come together and go from being unknown to multi-platinum selling artists. I, I really love that. I really wish, um, I haven't done any research, but I would love to find out more about my, my other heroes, you know, Rolling Stone, The Beatles, I, Pantera, ACDC. So I'm gonna start doing all that because that's really inspiring. You know, if you're an athlete, you're gonna read Michael Jordan's book. You're gonna read Kobe Bryant's book. You're gonna read uh, books of other sports heroes. So you're a musician. Why not hear about their beginnings, how they made it, what they did to do it. So. Fantasmo, thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>